What's going on everybody? So in this video, I'm going to show you how to reinstall your expansion packs that come with the NPC Live. All right, so some people actually delete these to make room for their own stuff and then they decide that they want them later. So this is gonna show you how you could go ahead and get them back. Now you cannot install them back onto the internal drive. So you'll need some kind of SD card or USB drive or SSD installed in the NPC Live, all right? And this process will actually work with the Akai Force. So if you want your NPC expansions in the Akai Force, go ahead and follow this process and you could go ahead and install them in the Force as well. So the first thing you have to do is download the software. So what you gotta do is log into your Akai account, register your NPC Live, download the software. So underneath where it says NPC Live, it says included software. All right, so you can see right here, NPC 2.4 Live Windows or NPC 2.4 Live Mac. So pick whichever operating system you have and go ahead and download this. And then if you need help installing this, click right here, installation and activation walkthrough. All right. So once you get those downloaded and installed, you need to install all your libraries. So you only need to click the one that has whichever operating system you're using. So right here, I'm using Windows. So I would click Windows. If you had a Mac, you would click Mac. And you can see how many different ones there are. You got the vault, you got the clips, you got the essential instruments, and you got your demos and everything. Now, some people don't want the demos, so you don't have to download the demos. So go ahead and click on whichever ones you want and download whichever ones you want. So once you have your NPC software installed and you have all the expansion packs installed that you want, you need to plug in your SD card or your USB drive, whatever you're using, go ahead and plug that in because you want that plugged in first so the NPC software reads it. All right, and you can see right here, Force SD. So this is the one I'm actually gonna use inside the Force. So I have my projects and my samples. Okay, so whenever I export the expansions, there should be a new folder that says expansions right there. All right, so go ahead and open up the software. So once you have the software open, go ahead and go to the upper left-hand corner, go to tools, you get this menu here. Go to Expansion Manager. All right, so these are all the expansions I have downloaded. So once you're here at the bottom right, you see where it says Export. Okay, so the first thing you'll see here is what drive do you want it on? I want it on my Force SD card. And now I will pick whatever I want on there. And if you wanted all of them in there, you could just go select all, they'll select all of them. So once you have the expansions that you want, go ahead and click Export. So this process, does take a few minutes, but once it's done, it's done. You can plug your SD card into your NPC Live and go to your expansions in the browser and everything should show up. So I'll actually go ahead and show you that they do show up in a minute here. I'll show you in the NPC Live and I'll show you in the Force just so you can see that they both do show up. Expansion export success. All right, so export operation completed successfully. I'm gonna click OK. And then what I'm going to do is just click out of here, close, close. And we can see right here, it says expansions. So all those expansions should be in that folder there. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and eject the SD card. All right, so now that that is completed, I'm going to go to the NPC Live, see if the expansions show up. And I'm also going to connect it to the force and see if they show up in the force as well. All right, so I have all of my expansions in here already. I actually didn't delete them out of my live. I'm doing this for somebody because they actually asked me over the weekend how to do it. And since I was at work, I wasn't able to really explain over messaging. So if you look here, I got my SD card. I wanna plug that in. So that's plugged in. So let's see what happens. Looking for expansions. All right, there we go. So we got our clip launch, the vault, essential instrument, deep house, drum and bass, EDM future house, essential instruments two expansion, and tech house. And we can see clip launch shows up here, here. All right. So let me go ahead and see how these actually show up on the force. All right. So let me go ahead, get into the force here. All right. I'm going to go to load expansions. So these are the force expansions that show up by default. I'm going to go ahead and take my SD card, plug it into the front of the force. See what happens. 
All right, so there we go. We got our force expansions. All right, we got this baseline one. And then we got clip launch, deep house, drum and bass, EDM future house. Got this one here, uh, essential instruments. This one here, tech house, vault two. So now I have all the NPC expansions except for the demo on the force. So that's a really good thing. I basically doubled my sounds on the force just now. So there you go. All right, thanks for watching the video. I know that this was kind of an issue. I've seen it on forums. People have asked me about it. So here's the video about how to do this. This is the only way I know how to do it. And even if you look on the Akai forums, they tell you to do it this way. So there you go. That's how you go ahead and do that. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want more videos like this, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and I'll do more Akai Force videos and Akai NPC Live videos. Thanks for watching and we'll talk soon.